Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is a monopoly business. It is the only Indian company that specializes in the manufacturing of aircrafts and their maintenance. The stock price has gone up more than 70% in the last one year. That's an alpha of more than 60% over the Nifty 50. The company has strong revenue sources for the future, but there is one thing that is making the stock a little bit unattractive. In this video, I am going to explain everything that you need to know as an investor about Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. And make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss future videos on investing. Namaste and welcome to Retail Investing. HAL has two main sources of revenues, manufacturing and maintenance of aircrafts and helicopters. The company depends heavily on the Ministry of Defense for getting manufacturing contracts. Exports make up only 1% of the company's total revenues. In this industry, research and development is very important. HAL spends 6 to 7% of its total revenues on research and development every year, and 15% of its profit after tax is kept as reserves for research and development. So let's have a look at the financial overview. The company the company's market capitalization is 1.3 lakh crore rupees and the stock is trading at 3900 rupees at a price to earnings ratio of 21.7. The face value is 10 rupees and the share price is almost 40 times its face value. This is indicative of a high quality blue chip stock. The company has been consistent at paying out dividends. Consistent dividend payouts actually indicate good cash reserves, which is more than 23,000 crore rupees in case of HAL. And it is a zero debt company. The return on capital Capital employed is 30.6% and the return on equity is 27.2%. These are really impressive numbers. I think it is very important to look into the balance sheet before investing in any company because that is where the real strengths and weaknesses can be found. When it comes to HAL, it's a healthy balance sheet. But one thing that I notice is that depreciation is on the higher side. High expenses on depreciation indicate higher capital expenditures in the future. Here you can see the company has been spending heavily on plant machinery and equipment. The reason I am mentioning these things is to make investors aware of the major expenses their company has to make. After all, investors gain from only what is left after expenses. However, these capital expenditures are also a good thing. It means that the company is expecting more orders in the future for which it is doing capacity expansion. As per the recent quarterly result for the June 2023 quarter, the company's net sales was 3,915 crore rupees, which is a growth of 8.09% from the previous quarter. The net profit was 814 crore rupees, which is a growth of 31.3% over the net profit from June 2022. The EPS grew from 18.55 rupees to 24.35 rupees in the last one year. As of now, the shareholding pattern seems interesting. Foreign institutional shareholding has gone up from 5.56% to 11.9% since June 2022 and domestic institutional shareholding has gone down from 15.7% to 10.6% in the same period. HAL has seen heavy selling by the asset management companies in the last few months. Fund managers have sold 28 lakh shares in May and 45 lakh shares in June this year. Public sector companies are usually not much popular with the asset management companies because they are believed to have low efficiency and productivity. The asset management companies also tend to not like the management of the public sector companies. For me, domestic institutions not liking this stock is the only unattractive part. The important question is, why are FIIs buying so much? Usually, FIIs don't stay invested in a stock for long, and when they sell, stocks see massive corrections. As of now, manufacturing is the key segment for HAL, but repair and overhaul is expected to generate a lot of revenues in the future. After the completion of delivery of 250 Sukhoi 30s and 300 advanced light helicopters, their maintenance, repair and overhaul will generate a continuous streams of revenues. As of now, 75% of the order book is contributed by the manufacturing segment and 23% by the repair and overhaul segment. From financial year 2025, the repair and overall segment may contribute to double-digit growth in revenues. There is an ongoing deal between HAL and the American company General Electric to co-produce jet engines for the Tejas Mark II. And according to media reports, negotiations are going on with nations like Argentina, Egypt, Indonesia, and Malaysia. There could be future orders from these countries as well. The company's management expects revenue growth at 8-9% in financial year 2024. In financial year 2025, 
revenue is expected to grow in double digits due to execution of the Tejas Mark 1A project. From financial year 2026 onwards, a stable revenue growth of 12 to 13 percent is expected by the management. When it comes to profitability, the company expects 26 to 27 percent operating profit margin, including other income, in the next few years. These things were discussed in the latest con call. The defense sector is undergoing a re rating, and it's possible that all these positive developments have not yet been factored into the share price. If that is the case, good returns can be expected in the next few years. This sector is directly affected by government policies and the defense policy is to modernize the aircraft fleet plus the policies like Atmanirbhar Bharat, Make in India and import substitution will definitely boost the defense sector over the next decade. So the stock's current price to earnings multiple is 21.6. At a return on capital employed of over 30%, this PE multiple is easily justified. HIL clearly has long-term tailwinds in its favor. It has very clear revenue visibility because of its strong order book. According to the company's chairman and managing director, HIL has an order book position of 84,000 crore rupees and orders of another 50,000 crore rupees are in the pipeline. So is it the best time to invest? Probably not for me. The stock may not look overvalued, but it's not undervalued either. Actually, the current valuations are confusing a lot of investors. Domestic institutions have been heavily selling, while the foreign institutions have been heavily buying. With heavy FII involvement and lack of a visible margin of safety, I think it is better to wait and watch. If the FII starts selling, it would definitely be a massive opportunity to accumulate the stock for me. Now, please don't consider any of this as buy or sell recommendation. This video was purely for educational purposes. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.